Hello my friends, today's video is going to be a review of the well-loved Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel SPF 50 PA++++. We are continuing the six days of sunscreen with a Japanese sunscreen, a Japanese drugstore sunscreen today. Like the rest of this series, these products were kindly gifted by Stylevana. I will remember to put my discount code on the screen today. And of course, there are links in the description box below as well. So, quick confession, I did lose a couple of days. We had a power outage that lasted half the day, and then I was just lazy after that. So, truth be told, today's video is not a first impression, it is a third impression. And I guess I will just kind of forever be sad that I don't have a first impression of this, because... Oh. Wow. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's do three fingers today. We are doing a pool party today. Yes, that is correct. So we're gonna make sure to cover everything in today's video. Uh, let me talk a little bit about the filters as I apply this sunscreen. So we have Octanoxate again, which I actually do enjoy as a sunscreen filter that protects you against UVA. We have Juvenal A+, another one of the newer filters. We have Zinc, Titanium Dioxide, and Tinosorb S for broad spectrum. I definitely need a mirror here so I get it applied where I want it. Yeah, so we're going to be swimming today. We're having some friends over. Do you see how this is just disappearing into my skin? And let me tell you, I don't feel anything at all in applying this. I don't feel any warmth, which I did talk about with the, uh, uh which one was that? The Essentry sunscreen. I mean, look at this. Like, I'm basically, I'm done applying this. And it looks gorgeous. It looks glowy. Oh my goodness. I love the finish on my dry skin. Oh my goodness. As far as the ingredients, I feel like I'm not going to have anything negative to say whatsoever. Did not have any issues running this one through the translator. I don't see any alcohol in here. I don't see any fragrance in here. I just see a long list of beneficial ingredients. And they claim that this formula feels like water, and it does. Is this the perfect sunscreen? I am just really speechless at how beautiful this sunscreen is. There's not really a smell. I don't smell anything. I do not smell anything in this but my weak nose. So I'm asking Ara right now. She's uh, very slowly and carefully smelling this. Does the water have a smell to you? What does water smell like? My weak nose doesn't detect anything with this formula. Nothing. She smells cocoa butter and weak sunscreen. And how do you even smell water? Water doesn't have a smell. What does water smell like to you? What are you, what do you smell in water? No, it, nothing. Y'all know the drill. I will do a check-in and an update and this time from the pool. Okay, so I wanted to show you all this diagram that Ara drew. She has drawn the smell of water as she perceives it. And according to her, this over here are the heavier smells that linger, and this is the lighter smells that evaporate. I'm fascinated by this. I love that she did this because this right here really shows why it is that people perceive different things within the smell of a product or, or smell in general. Basically, if you understand this diagram, do not trust my thoughts on smell alone because I don't smell any of this. On the other hand, if you don't relate to this, the way that I perceive smells may be a-okay for you. Does that make sense? Isn't it interesting? All right, here we are reapplying at the pool. Sorry that I chose a tremendously unflattering angle. However, you can still see no white cast. This is a beautiful sunscreen. Of course, I talked my friends into trying it out too because you don't just keep skincare to yourself. And then predictably, I was a giant baby in the pool. I don't know what temperature I have to have the pool at to be comfortable. So it's time for me to give you my review of the CanMake 
Mermaid Skin Gel UV. Keep in mind again that this is not just a first impression. I'm actually going to tell you a little bit about wearing this at the pool, wearing this with makeup. And I really quickly want to address the elephant in the room, especially if you are just stumbling upon this video or this channel and you don't know why I'm breaking out. Let me really quickly state here. So I am moving. I'm in the process of moving my entire life right now and I do break out from stress. So basically don't look to my face for whether these products will break you out or not. It's not the right time for me to gauge that. Let me put it like this. I've, this is such an interesting conversation to have with other people. So I have a brain soundtrack. My brain determines what songs are going to be playing within my head for that day. I don't have to have heard those songs recently. I think this is actually why I don't like to put music in my own videos is because there's already music playing in the background in my head, right? I find that people either immediately know what I'm talking about or have no idea whatsoever. But yes, my brain does come up with a theme for that day. And just to give you some context of where my brain currently is, today's brain soundtrack has been... I opened my eyes to the song Dust in the Wind. We moved on to Lux Eterna from the Requiem for a Dream soundtrack. Then it was The Sound of Silence, wonderful song. Let the Sun Shine In, which I don't know who does that one, but it's in the uh, musical Hair. And we've now moved on to... <laughs> And let me preface this by telling you, I really am okay. This is my uh, mental outlet. Uh, the song Calm Suser Todd. I'm okay, I promise. I promise I'm okay. It is a big change in my life, so I'm probably a little bit sad, but we're, we're managing it. We're managing it. So yes, any breakouts that may occur from now until we are settled in, please know it could be there for reasons completely unrelated to skincare. That makes sense, right? Sunscreen review, sunscreen review. Okay, so three days of wearing this sunscreen has made me convinced that this is a very close to perfect sunscreen. It is absolutely incredible to me. I don't have any intense cons to talk about. It applies so fast, so easily, no white cast. Just to be clear here, this is 01 clear, just to be clear. Ironic. There is a, a 02 white, which I probably wouldn't recommend. I'm assuming that means white cast with that one, but yeah, this is the clear one. Uh, it was so comfortable. No stinging, no burning, did not get into my eyes, wore well with makeup. I put, uh, Tinted moisturizer on one day over this was just absolutely gorgeous. So let's just start with price. I do have to deduct some amount of points on price, and that's basically because this is such a tiny tube. This is only 1.35 ounces, which is a very small full size of sunscreen. Still though, in terms of breaking it down by price per ounce, this is not bad. It still breaks down to $8.85 at retail, and again, it is on sale, so it's a little bit less than that, which isn't that far off from, we, you know, Make Prims, which we gave five stars. That one is $6 an ounce. So in spite of being small, it's still not too expensive. We're going to give it four stars here. So I will say, given that it's a small size, if you love this sunscreen, you'll probably have to buy multiples at a time. I would definitely recommend hitting the free express shipping minimum because you will get your order so much faster with the express, sh so, so much faster. It doesn't even compare internationally. Ingredients, I'm going to give this a five out of five. I don't have any gripes with the ingredients list at all. There is no added fragrance. There are some ingredients that may contribute to scent, but even then, I do look at this formula and feel like it's overall a non-irritating formula. For smell, I'm going to give it a five out of five. If you're somebody who can detect the smell of water, you may have a different experience with the smell than I do, but again, to me, it just smells like nothing. I'm not getting anything from the smell, and that is a-okay with me. Application, solid five out of five. Absolutely no question about that. So easy to apply. Where five out of five. We took this one to the pool. It held up, no sunburn. White cast is obviously five out of five as well. And then for removal, so easy. Such a piece of cake to remove. Five out of five, which brings us to a new champion. 
So reshuffle everything. We've got a new champion here in the Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel UV. And yes, I'm going to say this is going to displace some of my much more expensive sunscreens that I've loved, my Dr. Dennis Gross, my Biosans, because I am blown away. I am blown away by this sunscreen. Before I close out this video, do keep in mind that these are newer filters and it is something where you're going to have to try it to see if it works out for you. Again, there is less irritation in general with these new filters, but you know, it's something where I would say buy a small size first, but you know what? That's actually where the small size of this particular product comes in as a pro. If you're not sure if these new filters are going to work out for you, this is my top recommendation for you to try. $10 and you can see if this works out for you. I think that's the most affordable way to test this. And if you are somebody who is still only comfortable with mineral filters, stay tuned for tomorrow's video where we are reviewing the Make Prim Airy Light Physical Sunstick formulated with zinc. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a like and hit subscribe, and I will see you all next time.